Hey everybody, so I want to make sure that I say welcome to all the new subscribers that came in here through that Maxine Waters video. And I also want to address those of you who have subscribed through other means, namely from that No Confederate video, the one that was reposted by the account called No Bullshit, in which someone who absolutely understands zero about black struggle in the United States tries to undermine everything that I say in the video. Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we're returning to the College Humor channel, which has very little humor left on it nowadays. Once a funny page with lots of goofy sketches for, yeah, you guessed it, college-age students, well a lot has changed there over the last few years. New owners and a new cast have proved to also provide a new direction for the channel, less comedy and more liberal-leaning propaganda. It's pretty sad to see if you were a fan before, especially. Apparently College Humor has some deal with the TV show Adam Ruins Everything, because short versions of his show pop up on their channel from time to time. In fact, we covered one of their videos last year about marijuana laws. I'll link that below if you want to get a taste for who we're talking about today. Basically, Adam is a pretentious liberal gay dude who overdresses, has ridiculous hair, and worst of all, tries to sound smart and informed when he's really not. His show poses as this informative, research, learning kind of thing, but really it's just another way for the corporate execs to push their messages. Last time they were trying to say marijuana laws are still racist today, which of course they're not. And today, today we're talking about men in response to their video called Alpha Males Do Not Exist. Let's check it out. <laughs> you make me laugh, Adam, which is weird because you're not really my type. I usually go for alpha males. That's not weird at all, because in humans, the very idea of the alpha male makes absolutely no sense. Well, I doubt alphas go for chicks like you. Maybe for a pump and dump, but you're not doing yourself any favors with that haircut, lady. Do you go to the same stylist as Adam? Someone needs to get that person fired. What do you think an alpha male is? Mm, a confident, assertive leader who knows what he wants and always gets his way. You know, somebody who says things like, get swole and muscle milk and hi, I'm Vin Diesel. Well, that's a very stereotypical idea of an alpha male you got there. It's almost like you're setting it up badly so Adam can easily knock it down. Almost like a, wait a second, that's a fucking straw man. A real alpha man is confident, secure, and often dominant, sure, but that's about it. There's no, they have to be always right part of it. Alphas can be wrong. In fact, they're the the ones who deal with being wrong the best. Because again, alphas are confident, and part of that is not caring what everyone thinks. This girl sets it up like alphas are all muscle milk drinking, meat heads at the gym, and that's just intentionally misleading. That sounds like what a weak-minded beta would call an alpha, to make fun of them, out of jealousy and spite, of course. Oh, so like this guy. What up, freaks? Name's Alpha Adam. I'm confident, straight up banging, and if you think women don't love me, I'm gonna debunk the F out of that myth. No, not like that guy at all. Sorry, Adam. You're so fucking beta and effeminate, you can't even pretend to be alpha. Being a rude dickhead doesn't make you an alpha male. Sure, some alphas are. I'm not denying that, but this is just a gross mischaracterization. It's almost like they don't know what real alphas are like. Probably because zero men took place in the production of this video. This was clearly an idea made by some weak-minded betas who wanted to tear down alphas so bad, they're trying to deny they even exist. <laughs> Attraction to alphas is genetic, comes from nature. I'm like the alpha wolf, the leader of the pack. Hell yeah, I'm bleeding. Well, all of that is wrong, because alpha wolves don't exist. In fact, the term alpha wolf was disavowed by the very scientist who popularized it. The story starts in 1977. Wait, what? We're talking about wolves now? Seems a little unrelated. I mean, I guess the term alpha comes from animals like alpha wolves, but the phrase has changed a lot, and it's evolved into its own thing for humans. A wildlife biologist named L. David Meech seemed to observe that one wolf emerges the dominant male. <laughs> one wolf is the dominant leader, the big wolf daddy. That's the alpha wolf. He wrote a book on the idea, and it became a media sensation. Alpha wolves are real, and I love them, and I bet humans are like this too. Ow, ow, ow! Again, very patronizing to men, but I do think this history of where the term alpha came from is a bit interesting. Let's see where they go with it. But 20 years later, Meech tried to replicate his research in the wild. And when he did, he realized he had made a terrible mistake. Those aren't dominant wolves. Those are mommies and daddies. Wolves don't have an alpha hierarchy at all. They're just parents. Well, I hate to question academic research, but I think daddy wolves can also be alphas. Or even, alphas are the ones who get to fuck and become daddy 
wolves. At least that's how it kind of works for humans. Meech renounced the term alpha wolf and spent years trying to get his own book taken off the shelves. Stop reading this! I fed you lies! Alpha wolves aren't real! It was too late. The term had taken on a life of its own, and we haven't stopped using it since. Well, you said it, the term has a life of its own. So showing that overproduced animation of the originator trying to recall the term is kind of pointless. Just because the guy who wrote the first book about it changed his mind, doesn't mean there aren't alpha males today, like the title of your video. Who knows? That guy could have gotten a car crash and lost his mind, or he was just wrong the second time around. Regardless, the term stands today. So alpha wolves are just parents. I guess my therapist was right. I really do have daddy issues. Nah, nah, nah. Maybe there's no alpha wolves, but I know crap too. Alpha males are found in chimps, our closest genetic relatives. Weird. You are more aggressive than me, but also wronger. First of all, chimps aren't our closest genetic relative. So they're not only trying to make alpha guys look overconfident and rude, but they're also dumb and uneducated too. Get the fuck out of here with that college humor. Quit trying to attack real men for being themselves. Manly men aren't all dumb and uneducated, and being confident and aggressive isn't a bad thing. Confident people are the ones who decided to, hey, let's break away from Britain and make our own country, the United States of America. And other confident people fought in the wars that freed and protected this country over the the last 200 years. It wasn't pussy ass beta males who play Starcraft in their parents' basement. They're not the kind of people who joined SEAL Team 6 and hunted down Osama bin Laden. No, this left wing attack on masculinity is sick, and them trying to tie it to aggression is pathetic. Bonobos are, and bonobos live in a matriarchal society. Excuse me, you're in my way. You're basic. Okay, whatever. Those bonobo bras don't mean nothing. What a horrible actor. And did you guys notice how they mentioned a matriarchy with that girl growling there? Funny how there was nothing negative said or shown about a female-led society. I think it was shown in a good light, even. Yet the rest of this video is bashing male-led societies. They're even denying alpha males even exist. That's very interesting to me. Contrary to popular belief, in chimps, the most aggressive male doesn't always become the leader. Smaller, more mild-mannered males can actually become dominant by doing favors and obsessions excessively grooming other chimps. Excuse me, you seem to have something in your hair. Thanks. Oh, hey, let me ask you, what do you think I should do with my life? Wait, whoa, what am I doing? Get off of me! I am the strongest, most aggressive male, so I am the alpha, now and forever. Yeah, here's the thing about alphas. They never have to say, hey, I'm confident, I'm an alpha. In fact, saying that is a very beta thing to do. It's false confidence and people see right through it. I'm beginning to think this Adam douche doesn't even know what an alpha male looks like. So let me give him a few examples. Donald Draper from AMC's Mad Men show. Hank Moody from Californication. Or how about a real life example? UFC fighter Conor McGregor. These guys are confident, but usually not that arrogant. Although sometimes. These guys are also comfortable in their own skin skins and they don't care what other people think. Needless to say, these guys fuck. Now let's look at some betas. Adam ruins everything, of course. Ross from Friends. And Destiny, the autistic Twitch streamer. Unlike chimps, human social hierarchies are constantly in flux. So you might be the dominant male here, but if you were playing Dungeons and Dragons, it's your turn. Hello? What do you want to do? Uh, I attack with my sword. Your sword? You are a magic user. Do you see a sword on your character sheet? No. Well, then you can't attack with a sword, can you, freak? <laughs> <laughs> Not to out-nerd these guys, but I think they would call magic users witches, wizards, or mages. Just saying. And I also don't think there's really an alpha leader at a fucking Dungeons and Dragons game. They're all most likely betas. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just this setup on this college humor show is ridiculous. I think this whole scene was made to appeal to this video's target audience. Betas who play shit like D&D, &D, StarCraft, and League of Legends. Because first of all, an alpha would probably never be there at this D&D &D game. And second, if he was, he wouldn't act all scared and afraid from some insult about magic users. Like if it was me there, I'd be like, like, yeah, okay, dude, whatever. I'm the only guy who's gonna have a chance at sleeping with these chicks tonight, so I'm cool with you knowing more about magic and shit. Have fun. <laughs>
Unlike animals, no one is the same type of person in all situations. Human society is much more complicated than that. I think you're just trying to muddy the waters here, bro. So to say that this guy is an alpha male or that guy's a beta male makes straight up zero sense. Whatever, nerd. The most aggressive male gets the most aggressive tail. It's true forever because it rhymes. Actually, research shows that agreeableness, kindness, and generosity are among the strongest indicators of a long, happy relationship. Oh my god, that's the gayest shit I've ever heard. And here they go again trying to make regular, confident guys look like angry, aggressive assholes. This is clearly an attack on masculinity. Very much like that Sweden video I made last week, college humor appears to also be very anti-male. But instead of raising boys to be girls like in Sweden, Adam ruins everything as just shaming men for being masculine and being themselves, really. Oh, eat my feet, those are beta traits. Oh, huh, well then I guess betas are the alphas of love. Enough lies, I am the alpha, I am your god. Leave beta Adam alone. You saved me. Well, nothing's more beta than needing a woman to fight for you. <laughs> At least he knows he's beta. Oh wait, do betas not exist now too? In the end, what we've got here is yet another left-wing media company going after men and masculinity. Looks like the left is not only trying to raise boys to be more feminine, but they're also trying to shame grown adult males who are confident and aggressive. When did confident and aggressive become a bad thing anyway? It means that you've already tried your plan and you're number four. You've enlisted my expertise and you've rejected it to go on the way you've been going. I'm not interested in that. There's also a troubling tactic being used here that's worth noting before we go. Liberals like to deny science and facts, or sometimes even try and change them to fit their narrative. For example, with the transgender debates lately, it's become very common to deny trans have mental issues, and they even go so far as to say there's nothing wrong with them at all, ignoring the fact that they're born in the wrong fucking bodies, and they need to cut off their boobs and dicks to feel okay. And now we've got beta liberals like Adam trying to tell us alphas don't even exist. Why? Because the guy who coined the term changed his mind, I guess? Or because there are different levels and circles in our society, maybe? That all sounds like a stretch at best to me, college humor. Alpha male has grown into its own phrase over the years, a new meme to describe confident men who are natural leaders. You can't just say that term doesn't exist because you don't like it. That's absurd. And as for the changing social ranks in different parts of society, I'm going to call bullshit on that point, too. If you take Conor McGregor anywhere, he's still going to be an alpha male. Put him at that table of nerds playing D&D. D. He's still an alpha. Put Connor in a Planned Parenthood clinic and he's still gonna be alpha. Sure, there could be changing people above and below him, but who said the alpha always has to be at the very top of every room anyway? There can be multiple alphas at different levels. I know this may be a little complicated for you, Adam ruins everything, but you are the one who made this pseudo-intellectual show, trying to debunk stuff and sound smart. Yet all I've seen you do is oversimplify things so you can turn them into straw men that you can easily tear down. Simply pathetic, Adam. College humor should be in embarrassed and Adam's Ruin Everything should be cancelled. I'm sick of this shitty content pushing anti-male, left-wing agendas. What do you guys think? Do alpha males exist? Is Adam Ruins Everything just a jelly little beta? Who's your favorite alpha male? Comment below and thanks for watching No Bullshit. See y'all next time. And don't forget, this show is funded and supported by viewers like you. Like, comment, and subscribe for new videos every week. Hit that bell button below to get email notifications of our new uploads. We also have merchandise such as shirts, sweaters, stickers, and coffee mugs in our Teespring store. Join our Patreon to support monthly for as low as $1. You can get bonus videos and all kinds of cool stuff. There's also Amazon affiliate links and all of our other links in the description below. Thanks again for watching and One more thing, I want to give a special thanks to these amazing Patreon supporters. You guys are the best, you guys went above and beyond the rest, and I love you so much for it. If anyone else wants to donate or join our Patreon crew, link in the description. Thanks again. She's unique. She makes the choices and she's chosen him. She wants to tell the world he's mine. He belongs to me, not you. She marks her man with her lips.